I'm the uh, owner of hb41.org, and I'm sure that uh, most of you have visited that at one time or another, and I've, I've, you know, I've communicated uh, with a, a number of you. Uh, this is my first conference, and uh, so I was asked to come up and, and tell you a little bit about myself and the website and uh, what I've been up to. And, uh, I'll be brief. I'm not going to not going to go on too long. Give you a little history about myself. Um, I got I got involved in the user groups um, uh, in Atlanta um, with HPX and, and Brian Walsh. Um, it was '88, uh, I guess. I was still in school at that time in college, so um, it was sort of it was at the end of the production life. So um, things kind of fell apart after that, and um, and at that point I I continued to. Uh, be interested in 41 and write software for it. Um, I wrote uh, some M code utilities. I wrote those in uh, Pascal first and then in C, rewrote them. And uh, also included in that was a debugger. And these were all DOS based. And pretty much finished that up in college in my spare time entertaining myself. And uh, you know, instead of doing real school work. Um, but it helped me get through. So, um, after that, I developed uh, the V41 emulator, <coughs> which I know uh, a lot of you have seen and use. And uh, that's that's that was for Windows Virtual 41, and uh, runs under Windows. It actually still runs under the current version of Windows, although it's got a few little file glitches. But um, probably ought to update it. But I haven't done a lot of work on it in recent years. I've just uh, seems to keep going along. Um, I have uh, <clears throat> I have expanded the website considerably in recent years, though. It started out as just basically my collection of manuals, which I had scanned, <clears throat> just because I'm kind of a compulsive scanner, and, uh, and uh, wanted them on computer, and didn't have, a, didn't have copies of a lot of things, which was kind of frustrating when you're trying to write software or something. So I began collecting them, and and the collection grew, and I, I put it on the internet. And uh, first thing I know, people are sending me stuff, and it continues to grow. So um, I've had a lot of fun with the website. It's it's pretty much uh, got every manual on there. I've got a lot of foreign languages now. Um, people are continuing to send me stuff. People are continuing to write software for the 41. Amazingly. Uh, there's a guy, Angel Martin, who's done some <coughs> amazing work with, with uh, M-code and math routines uh, way over my head. So uh, he's, and of course the hardware <coughs> aspect of it's continuing along. And uh, my goal is just to basically be the archivist and the librarian of the, of the 41 and, and accumulate whatever's out there and, and put it online for everyone. Um, which reminds me, I've got a copy of it here if you want to. Pass that around and download it. It's uh, the, the website itself is is written in Cold Fusion and SQL Server, so it's not something I can just transport off and load up and run. But uh, I'll give you the DVD info. It's all PDF files and such. Um, the website itself has, uh, over the years, it's got a database of 27,000 registered users, which it sounds like a really huge number. <laughs> Um, but I think a lot of them probably come in and look for one thing and leave. Um, in the last year, I've gotten 2,000 registered new users. So it's there's continuing to be interest. Um, 37,000 or 3,700 revisits over the last year. So uh, revisits to kind of tell me the, tell me more about who's coming and going. But other than that, I, I don't really have any statistics beyond that. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Well, I'll tell you a funny story about how I got started with the 41. I uh, <clears throat> actually lived in Phoenix, Arizona, not far from where you live in Mesa. And uh, they have these things called desert tortoises, which is a big old turtle, tortoise technically. And um, this lady up the hill, up the mountain, had lost her precious pet tortoise named Bob <laughs> and she loved this thing so um, she had sent all the kids out looking for it and there was a reward and 
Um, when I heard about it, I, I came running out because, you know, I, I was pretty good at finding things. And uh, so, uh, you know, you wouldn't think a tortoise could go very far, but uh, he was motivated and he wanted to, <laughs> to escape. <laughs> but I found him because I knew where to look and uh, took him home. And uh, she gave me $500 for that tortoise. Wow. Wow. You know, this was, this was uh, 79. Yeah, for her husband, I guess wow. that was worth it. <laughs> so you can guess what I spent the money on. Yes. <laughs> Buying <laughs> another tour. <laughs> <laughs> I, I spent it on a card reader and a printer and stuff like that. So that's that's pretty geeky for a 15-year-old. But you know, I was the only kid in high school with this thing. And, uh, you know, it was like my iPad or whatever. Kept me entertained during, during classes. So, um, you know, I, I'd love to answer any questions you have about the website. Any suggestions you have? Um, there's there's things I could do with it to make it more interactive. Um, if there's an interest, and it doesn't create a, you know, conduit for spam and abuse. Do you have any capability of uh, of uh, maybe send an email out to all of your uh, Subscribers or whatever you want to call them. I do. I, I could send out a, a big email. I, I probably wouldn't send it to all 27,000 because it might attract the attention of my service provider. Oh. <laughs> I could send it to 4,000 easily. You know. I'm thinking more of uh, everybody seems so busy today and everybody's mailbox is full. Uh, even the odds of, of getting through to somebody who wants to get your message because <laughs> yeah. they're expecting it or whatever. Is, is becoming more and more an issue and uh, and so I'm just thinking that uh, rather than have them check you periodically that when you provide a certain update or something you could you could notify that uh, there's new stuff and yeah it, it could certainly be done absolutely I have that ability to send it out I just I haven't done it in recent years because it's gotten so big and I know a lot of people are going to say who are you why are you spamming me Mm. You know that kind of thing. So I don't want to get complaints. It runs off my uh, my DSL line, so it's not on the commercial provider. But um, one thing that uh, I had thought when I was trying to load up with ROMs for my 41CL uh, is, is it a big pain to try to put a zip file of all the ROMs or all the mod formats yeah, maybe someplace? No, that's that's not a problem. I was thinking instead of having to hunt for all of them, just download them all all the time and they're all in the directory rather than back and forth, back and forth. Looking yeah. I think right. there's an all ROMs entry. It might be just the ROM files. Though. I don't know if it's the mod files. Uh, or just either one, just to go get them. Uh, and have you had much interaction with Monty? Did you guys talk much at all, and if any, about their 41CL? <laughs> um, some. I, I looked at his, some of his documents and, and reviewed it. And I don't actually have one of the CLs myself. I just don't have time to play with it. But it's a, you know, it's a wonderful thing from what I hear. And, uh, I, you know, I'm support it if I can with my efforts. Right. Any plans to implement like a printer output? Because <laughs> uh, like when I when I use uh, your I use your emulator a lot, yeah. but when I need to debug, I switch to the 42s emulator. And then once I get everything, thanks. I'm I'm glad that both you and Tom use the .raw file, which is great. You know. Uh, no, I, I I really don't have any plans to to extend the emulator at this point. It's. Um, Having three kids runs around pretty much destroys my concentration. <laughs> you can just never get rid of them for long enough okay. to do it. <laughs> it. The source code is out there, uh, available on the site if someone... What, what language is it in? Is it source code? It's, it's on, available on the site. Yeah. No, no, I mean, so which language? Is it C? It's a C and C++. Mostly C. It is C++, but it's not strongly classed. It wouldn't take too much effort for a good programmer to come up to speed on it. Uh, you said you have 27,000 people who have registered on your site? Yeah. Uh, what, when, when, when did you start the site? Is that from the beginning of the site? You know, someone else asked me that. 
it's been it's been up for at least ten years, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know exactly. I have to go back and check on that. I guess part of the reason for the question would be uh, on the older machines. It's nice to know how many people are still using them. You know, not that they were active using them ten years ago, and they put them in their drawer, yeah. and the battery uh, acid ate up the four little bumps on there, <laughs> and they're 41, and it's useless now. Um, but rather, who are actually actively, uh, you know, using their machine? Yeah, I could I could query who's visited the site within the last couple of years. Oh, you have that ability. Yeah, it's, but that's pretty much all I can say. That, that'd be nice to know. Yeah. Be a nice number to have. Uh, every now and then I, I try to track various activities, what's going on, that type of thing. And of course, like we've even the theme of the conference here today, um, there's always the diehards, you know. There are still people who, who run their Model A Fords, but they're becoming fewer and fewer <laughs> as time goes on. And at some point, it's, it's uh, you know, moot. Now, uh, um, do you offer uh, tips on, uh, as, and also links of resources for people with 41 issues, questions, and problems? I've, I've got a frequently asked questions page, and uh, and I've got you know I've got some links. But really, if people have more interactive questions they need answers to, I I send them over to one of the forums because mm -hmm. I do have a, I do have a guy who uh, set up a forum for me. Region guy, and uh, there's some information on that forum, but it's not used a lot, so uh, it just never really took off. Everybody's so busy and so many interests, you know. You know, it's only yeah. so many hours a day. The, the community's yeah. just really big enough to support one one big forum, yeah. I think. So I don't know where that is. Okay. Uh, before you're done, uh, how many people here have a 41 CL? Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I will go ahead and assume on behalf of all of us, thank you for having all the ROM files out there, which make sure. our 41 CL lives a whole lot more fun sure. than they otherwise would be. So thank you for that. <laughs>